Hi there guys, uh, welcome back to Halifeed. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't here last week. Uh, I actually lost a very dear friend of mine. Um, his name was Ronnie and uh, he was my goldfish. Um, so that's why I wasn't here last week. I apologize again for it, but we're gonna start up again this week and uh, I'm back in high spirits. I'm, I'm ready to do this thing, I really am. So uh, starting up this week, we've got uh, the student profile and I don't, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't do this. No, it's okay, it's okay. Here, here try that. Uh, so what do you have to say? Nothing? No. Just, okay. Uh, welcome to Halifi. Hi, I'm Brandon Mercer and I go to the Center for Arts and Technology. What I'm doing right now is I'm doing a documentary on the rockabilly riots that happened at the Seahorse. Um, I'm trying to spread you know, the awareness of the actual event and just really promote the Seahorse in itself and hopefully bring out more business to the riots. Uh, well, Rockabilly first started with Elvis in the 1950s, but uh, country artists would be referred to as hillbillies. And when they tried to move over to the rock genre, they just called them rockabillies. And it all started with Elvis, and then it proceeded with uh, Carl Perkins, Johnny Cash, and um, the few artists we have today. The Rockabilly Riots are a show that happens at the Seahorse Tavern, where a bunch of rockabilly artists and performers, and they have burlesque dancers, uh, perform a show. I know Chris Martin, he's the headliner for the Rockabilly Riot shows, and there's a whole bunch of different artists that they usually bring in every week or every month. I got into Rockabilly uh, when I was a kid. I first started listening to Elvis Presley and Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, and um, I played in a few rockabilly shows and psychabilly shows back home in Newfoundland. And um, the crowd really loved it. I mean, there's a whole different atmosphere that is experienced in a rockabilly show that you really can't, don't see very often in regular shows. Well, I've always had a strong influence in film and I do love making movies and different documentaries and stuff like that. And I've been a musician longer than I have been a filmmaker. So it just makes sense to me if I could just merge those two together. Well, my plan is to really showcase the Seahorse Tavern and the rockabilly riots itself, showcase some of the bands that they have out like Chris Martin and the Troubleshooters uh, I know I got in contact with um, a whole bunch of different other rockabilly artists around there and hopefully really promote the business. I mean, it's a real labor of love that I'm doing now. It's, this is something that I've been interested in and pretty much had my entire life surrounded around rockabilly and music in general. Uh, well, what you're going to see in the documentary is a lot of the underground performing artists such as um, well, I know there's Chris Martin and the Troubleshooters. There's also a whole different plethora of rockabilly bands that uh, you're gonna have the opportunity to see uh, what really rockabilly is about and what that kind of lifestyle goes on to. Um, and pretty much, it's really an underground kind of music scene, it seems, so I'm just trying to really raise awareness and show people that these shows are growing, they're happening, and just if they're interested, why not be a part of it? Yeah, I got a grand pass at Hamfist Media helped me out with some of the edit and shooting and uh, the guys over there, they're really great. Uh, the documentary will be finished, I'd say, by next summertime. I'm still filming a lot more Rockbilly Riots and hopefully I'll see a bunch of you guys out there. I'm Brandon Mercer and this has been Student Profiles. Check out the Rockbilly Riots happening June 18th. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, the Rockabilly Riots happen at the Seahorse Tavern. Um, the next one is actually happening at June 18th uh, in June 18th. <laughs> Idiots.